I am joined by handball player Nikolai Nahorniak from Chicago, Illinois. Not really, just Plains, right? Yes. How much are you a Des Plains boy versus Chicago? Is there a lot of pride that goes behind that? You know, it's a very close suburb to Chicago, um, right by O'Hare, so it's easily, I could easily get to Chicago very soon, but I, I grew up playing handball in Des Plains. Uh, I play on uh, Southside at Rainbow Beach, um, South, uh, South Shore Drive, and then also LaGrange, so there's a couple outdoor places to play for me too, so I'm equal. You see a lot of New Yorkers and a lot of people from LA, some people from Chicago, but do you feel like you need to build that up a little bit more if it's far, as far as getting those New Yorkers and LA people beat? Right, well, you know, coming from the Midwest, you know, there's not as much handball as, say, like LA, California, or New York, because there's a one wall. They have it in high school. We don't see that in the Midwest, so um, just coming up from that, trying to play handball at that caliber, and these people play all year round. And it seems like in Chicago, it's more of like a seasonal sport and we play more for fun. But when you go to these big tournaments, you have to, you know, up your game more to play against these guys. So how do you do that? How do you practice at home? Um, I, I just practice a lot by myself. I play uh, two on one matches a lot against uh, the top players, open players in Chicago. A lot of them are old uh, Lake Forest graduates like me. Uh, well, not old, but older. And uh, so they're good at handball and they still stick around playing too. Talk a little bit about that Lake Forest program, because it is a pretty elite, you hear about it a lot in the handball world. Uh, yes, uh, it's, uh, well, Mike Dow is the coach, and he's been coaching for close to 50 years now. Uh, he's been going strong, doing football too, and he's just built up a dynasty that can never be probably matched. So he does football as well. Does he ever make comparisons between sports or find one training for the other to be beneficial? He does. We do a lot of football exercises in the weight room, at least we did. I'm, I'm no longer in Lake Forest College, but uh, I mean, I, I've learned so much from Coach Dow in terms of the game and just his uh, mentality towards the handball, uh, sport of handball. No longer at Lake Forest College because now you're in dental school. I'm trying to get into dental school right now and uh, from there become a dentist. Right now I'm working in a pediatric office where I work with little kids and uh, so I've learned a lot with that too, how to deal with the young ones and uh, still play handball on the side too. It's always fun. What do you love about the dental work? And you also, I mean, volunteering and such as taking you to other places as well. Yeah, I went to Costa Rica and Nicaragua. I uh, dental volunteer trip uh, my senior year in college. And I stayed there for about two weeks. And it was uh, through an organi organization called VITA. And it was, I, I learned, I don't know, it's just uncomparable because uh, the things, uh, the relationships I, uh, I made on that trip, the people I saw and I got to uh, help them out with their dental care, that's, I've never had such a more positive experience in my life, uh, except for handball, of course. Yeah. Well, it probably seemed like obvious answers of what was the differences between what you saw on that trip versus here, as far as dental We, work we take a lot of things we have here for granted. Uh, a lot of those people grow up uh, without proper dental care, without proper anything, and they just come by, they flock towards this area where we were at, and we gave them free dental care. Uh, even actually we filled some teeth there too, we cleaned their teeth, I mean we did a lot of stuff. It was really rewarding. Did you try to teach any of them handball? No, uh, this is really? more solely just dental <laughs> trip, but I would love to. I'm sure they have courts out there like one wall style or something, but yeah, I don't know about how um, handball is out there. But here you do actually try to help out kids and get them growing in the sport. Yeah, I, I um, actually I help out a lot of times in uh, Des Plaines, uh, the Ladoff YMCA where I grew up playing. And uh, uh, Coach Don Quimman, he was my handball coach growing up uh, when I first started when I was 12 years old. And uh, from then, I, uh, throughout the Junior Nationals indoors, I, I, I just felt like I had to give something back to him. So I, every year I help him out in the summer camps. And sometimes I appear on the weekends for his uh, normal uh, weekly class. You see that so much in handball, people trying to get back, people trying to grow the sport, get young people involved because they're so passionate about it. Why do you think that is with handball in particular? You know, it's just like, I, I'll take it from like how when I first started playing, I, uh, I didn't, wasn't really good, I just liked running around the courts. And you know what, and I had a great coach, my dad, and also Coach Don, uh, but I, I just got bit by the handball snake, you know? It's like, you have, it takes that certain amount of, um, I guess, just like you have to be inclined to play it. And once you get into it, you can't, there's no going back, and you can't really say no to it anymore. So we keep on playing it and just like the youth getting more and more, I could see more of Californians and uh, New Yorkers getting in, that's great. We got to get that out in Chicago, you know. 
it's slowly dying out there, slowly. But. Is there anyone in particular, past, present, player-wise, that you would love to play and or beat? Uh, uh, I, I, I could say that I've played against a lot of the greats. I guess uh, Nadia Alvarado, senior, uh, Paul Haber back in the day. Those are all older guys. That aren't, well, Paul Haber's not around anymore. He's from Chicago area. Um, you know, I've played against Paul Brady. What a great, great athlete. He's, he's phenomenal in the four-wall court. Uh, I don't know, just there's so many people that have been so good, and I'm just trying to build that up, try to get, win these tournaments, and hopefully become, if not, as great as them. Who have you learned the most from? Uh, hmm. Good question. I, I basically had to teach myself a lot growing up, um, but I, I learn. I see people hit shots at work, and I just feel like I've learned the most from myself. Just because me practicing myself, only I'm going to get myself good. And you have to go through yourself and actually work at towards what you want to do. And you're always going to win, and you're always going to lose. Right. <laughs> you that's play handball. yourself. That's it's handball. It's yeah, that's true, right? <laughs> yeah. I was going to win that one. So on your off time, going, trying to get into school, do the whole dental work thing. What else do you do? Um, well, once I get into school, I'm going to be probably, Campbell will probably take a little bit of a back seat, but uh, I still want to keep on playing. I still want to, um, I think I'm just going to take care of school though first, you know. I, I haven't really thought about much about doing anything else. Probably just do a lot of the fun things, like still keep in touch, touch with like friends and sports. I still want to do a lot of vacations, see all the people I've met through handball. Because um, I know once I become a dentist or be, get into dental school, I'll be, I'll, that'll be it for me for the most part, but yeah. What else do you do active-wise? Um, I cross-train, ride bikes, uh, run a lot. I try to do, uh, actually, well, I did the Gladiator Salt Challenge. Talk about this picture here. Are you trying to train that rock? <laughs> you know, funny about that, that's out of Lake Michigan. We were on an Indiana Dune, and I pulled that. Me and my buddy Jimmy pulled it out of uh, the lake and we set it on the beach and it looked like a surfboard. So I said, you know what, we're going to take a fun picture of this. And so my dad snapped a picture of that while I was like trying to pretend to surf. And no, I don't surf. <laughs> Not at all. But you do do like the gladiator challenges. Yes, I like all those. It was a seven mile uh, assault challenge basically. It went through uh, burning barrels of hay, had to carry logs, um, barbed wire. It shocked you too. You jumped off of a cliff into a pond that was really ice cold. It was really intense. It was a lot of fun. You guys are all such great athletes that whenever I watch Ninja Warrior, I swear one of you is going to pop up. You know, it's oh, going to be like handball player. That would player, be a good and I'm idea, like, right? I'm sure. I think we're just too preoccupied with the sport of handball that we never really branch out and do those things. But that'd be fun. So it was your dad that got you into it. Does he come and watch you now? Um, he does. He's actually here at this tournament now, cheering me on. Hopefully, I could uh, do it again this year like last year, but uh, he's been a good mentor and a good coach and a good father to me, and I'm just happy to have him in my life still. Not, not many people could say that with their, uh, with their uh, family members. What have you learned the most from him? Um, just how to be the best possible person you could be, inside and out, uh, sports and in life. Uh, I try to model myself after him too. What's been your biggest challenge as far as keeping handball in your life? Um, just, you know, actually it really hasn't been much of a challenge. Uh, over the years, just, I went to school at Lake Forest, so I played handball. And then uh, I, after school, I, I basically started going to tournaments more, been qualifiers, but not really, no, no challenges. And I guess I'm a visual person, so the moment you said it, I just wanted to know what it looked like, the handball snake. So, yeah, so <laughs> it, it's, uh, it happens. If you, if you become really attached to something, if, if you're doing something, then I don't know how to really explain it. It's something how you feel like, you know? So say you start playing a sport and you don't really like it, but you just like doing something about it. You go to your first tournament and you get smoked, you know? You can't, you can't return to serve. And I said, you know what, Dad? I could have beat that guy. I really could have, but I couldn't return to serve. And I was 12 years old at the time playing in the 13 and under uh, Junior Nationals. And I said, my said, you know what, I couldn't return to serve. The next year, every day for three, four hours a day, we worked on returning serves and shots. And the next year, 1300, I won the Junior Nationals. So just it goes to show you, if you really want something very good, you get bit by the handball snake, you pursue it, you want to do it, set your mind to it, then that's, 
You get what you want. This is a pretty nice snake. It's a nice snake. It's okay. not a bad snake that has poison in it at all. Just just the, the handball snake, yeah. Well, thank you, Nick, about the season. Okay, thank you very much, Carol.